Bling. Huh? Hi everyone, and welcome back to Daily Doodles. And today I'm gonna to show you how to draw a Bernice mountain dog. So before we get started, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. All of that is really, really appreciated. And uh, let's get started on our drawing. All right, so I'm gonna start with the eyes. So I'm gonna do one eye right here and then give it a bit of space and do another eye like that, like the one I just did. And if they are not exactly perfect, that's totally fine. They don't have to be perfect. All right, so I'm gonna do like a little circle inside here. Same over here. And I'm gonna put a little circle on the side and color the rest in all dark. All right, all right, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the little brown patches of fur right here above the eyes, almost like little brown eyebrows. And now we can come down a bit and do a nose. Great big nose. And do a little line here in the middle. And one big nostril. And the other nostril. And by the way, we have the eyebrows. He's looking a little bit grumpy, but he shouldn't by the end of it all. Those nostrils, we can color those in all black as well. Not much light getting up there. Okay, so coming down from the mouth here, or sorry, from the nose, we're gonna start on the mouth. So we can do like a little upside down V shape right here. <laughs> now he really looks grumpy, but we can continue and then come on up a bit. And kind of sketch around that nose and come on up. We're gonna do a little, um, a little line here coming between the eyebrows. Coming on down. We're gonna try to match what we did on this side, on the other side, like that. And I'm gonna draw a line going across and color that in all dark. Like that. And he can have his tongue sticking out. Do a little line here in the middle. And we can do a shape like this coming on down. His mouth is gonna be open. And do the same over here. And color that in all black. So he's starting to look a little bit less grumpy now. Alright, so the bottom of his mouth, we can just follow along here. Like that. And up top, do the very top of the head here and this line we can bring it on up and that one too and on the sides here we can do the ears same on the other side See, I'm making them, um, I'm doing all these lines here to help add texture for the fur. And next, I'm going to do a bit of the body shape. So we've got lots of fur here on our Bernice Mountain Dog. 
very fluffy, very furry. So adding lots of little strokes for the pen here really helps to show, like I said earlier, really helps to show the fur texture. All right, so right here, we're gonna do a line, come on down and bring it on up. Same on the other side. Okay, and here, and come on down. And draw a line right here. And then we can do the same on the other side. Like that. And I'm gonna continue with the really furry, fluffy body. And we're gonna have a front paw here, a front leg. And this line is gonna come on down a bit, but not perfectly straight. And over here, coming on down as well, and also definitely not perfectly straight. Add lots of little bits of fur texture. And we can just kind of stick in these little strokes all over the place. Very, very furry, fluffy dog. And uh, who knows, maybe he needs a haircut. <laughs> If you want him to have lots and lots and lots of fur, you can certainly do that. So we'll bring down this front foot as well. And right here, we can put one little toe, another little one, and another little one. And we can do the same right here. So one, two, three. And bring it on up a bit and have some more little texture strokes of fur and we can draw a bit here for his back and right here he's going to be kind of sat down more strokes more strokes of fur And on this side, we can have a back foot sticking out. Now we'll also have our the uh, three little toes. And some more strokes of fur. His other uh, back foot, he's kind of sitting on it. It's kind of behind here. Let's see, and put a line, a little curved line right here, and bring another one down right here, because this part of his leg is going to be brown and this part's going to be black. So we want to make sure that uh, we don't forget to uh, separate those colors. Okay. Put a bit of fur here, and I'm going to give him a few more flicks of fur on the ears. All right, and now I got them all drawn and I'm gonna add some color.
All right, everyone, so we're finished our drawing. Thank you so much for drawing with me today. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you back here tomorrow for the next Daily Doodle. Goodbye.